Hey YC, here's a demo of our product. So here you're seeing the scoreboard we use for keeping track of uh, beer pong. So we display this to a computer, projector, TV, um, any big screen that you have around. So spectators can watch it and uh, people can keep track of where they are in a game, if they have to shoot still, um, if they're able to use celebrity shots, or islands um, and then it'll keep track of other things like if you're on fire which is when you hit three shots in a row things of that nature and here you see our controller so if I refresh here so if we hit connect on the controller this is normally what's used on the phone I can type in player zero your, my name so Keith team name YC and if we look here at the scoreboard there's a host ID so here we have host ID 9 it creates a unique one every time a scoreboard is opened so now if I type in 9 and I hit put me in coach it now gets me to the uh, the actual buttons on the controller and if I look over here Keith has now entered the game and it displays the team name YC here so we're working on making it so all of these uh, cups are interactive. So when you actually hit hit on a cup, right now all it does is it uh, increments the score. And you can see here that the, the indicator saying that I've taken my shot is now gone. Um, but eventually we'll make it so this is interactive where it actually will pop up with the triangle. And it'll show you um, which you, you'll be able to hit what cup you um, hit. So then it'll remove it from that and actually display that on the scoreboard. So on the computer vision side of things, uh, here's an example of some of the Python code that we have. Um, initially, we were just trying to make it so we could detect the cups. So here we're showing a uh, host circle dete detection. Um, this is kind of like the basic. If we can find a circle, we can find a cup. And here we show that's actually picking up a, a lamp that we had. Uh, that's the bottom of the lamp. Um, here, so we're showing how accurate this uh, detection is for the host circle. And then, so what we do to actually figure out what circles are the cups is we use computational geometry. Um, so if we look here, we're able to identify which cups are in play. So here we're actually, we have other cups in frame. So it knows it's not these cups because we use computational geometry to detect the, the shape of the triangle out of the 10 cups. So what we're able to see um, is that there are 10 sh similarly shaped cups that if you look at the furthest ones away from each other in this group, so do like a uh, connected component, so these are all considered one connected component, and then the, they're the furthest ones away um, are in the shape of a triangle. And so that's how we identify that this is the, the set of cups that are in play, and we bound that with the playing field here. So if you were to remove a cup, it would then know that there are only nine cups in play. Um, and then we're planning on using Bayesian networks to um, sh determine what rack or what shapes the cups are in after uh, a cup is removed. And lastly here, we show that we can do this same sort of uh, host circle detection on an ESP32 cam. So this is a $10 camera recording in QQVGA. I don't know the exact resolution off of that, but that's a quarter of a quarter of VGA resolution. So it shows that we can still do this detection on extremely cheap hardware. So that's $10 for a wireless um, circuit board that comes with the camera. So $10 completely enclosed uh, embedded system that you can just attach a battery to, duct tape it to your ceiling, and then that will do the um, actual video and then stream it back to a server to be processed. Um, hope you liked the demo. Uh, hopefully we'll be in touch if for when you have some questions.